What's going on guys, it's Matthew here with Gadget University. Qualcomm just came out with a mobile web browsing benchmark uh, application for Android. Uh, it's called Valamo. Um, I just uploaded it to all my Android devices and I wanted to give you guys a comparison to see which one is the best uh, device for web browsing. Uh, I have the HTC Thunderbolt on the far left which has a single core Snapdragon 1 GHz processor with 768 megabytes of RAM. I have the Motorola Droid 3 with a dual core TI OMAP processor with one uh, clocked at one gigahertz with 512 megabytes of RAM. The Samsung Nexus S in the middle, which has a single core Hummingbird, clocked at one gigahertz with 700, excuse me, with 512 megabytes of RAM. The Samsung Infuse 4G, which is another uh, single core Hummingbird processor, but this one is clocked at 1.2 gigahertz, and it also has 512 megabytes of RAM. Also on the very uh, end here, I have the Droid Incredible um, 2, which has a single core Snapdragon 1 GHz processor at uh, with 5, 768 megabytes of RAM and the Samsung Droid Charge at the very end that has a single core Hummingbird processor with 512 megabytes of RAM. Alright, enough of all that uh, mumble jumbo and the specs. Uh, let's go ahead and start the test. It runs 11 tests so it's going to be pretty long. I'm going to go ahead and fast forward it while it does everything. Um, you guys don't really want to watch this entire test. It takes a couple of minutes. But let's go ahead and start it. I'm going to go ahead and let everything go through. And like I said, these tests take several minutes to go through. So we will uh, come back once it is done. Okay, the uh, test is finished now and looks like we have our scores. The HTC Thunderbolt came in at a 620. I'm going to go ahead and send those scores off. The Joy 3 came in at a 683. The Nexus S came in at a 560. The incredible, excuse me, the Infuse 4G came at a 667. The Incredible 2 came in at a 658. And the Joy Charge came at a low 525. Now, Valamo break, breaks down the testing into four different categories. You have rendering, JavaScript, user experience, and networking. So even though some of these scores may be higher than each other, if you look at these individual categories, you'll find out maybe more, more of what you really want to know. So, for example, it looks like the user experience on the Droid 3 is about on par with the HTC Thunderbolt and the HTC Incredible 2. Um, it looks like what the lower score from each device really came from really came from the networking part on the Nexus S and the um, Samsung Droid Charge. But if you really got to kind of study these scores and look at them and see which one is more important to you, even though you can't just look at the high score and say, oh, I do a lot of web browsing on this phone. This is the phone I need to get. Um, if you look at the breakdown, you'll find more information on how um, things are, are allocated and how they're assessed. But uh, that's been my, my, my time, guys. I will see you in my next video. Um, go ahead and make sure you guys subscribe and follow us on Twitter. And uh, I'll see you guys later. Peace.